A passenger train of length 60 meter travels at a speed of 80 km per hour. Another freight train of length 120 meter travels at a speed of 30 km per hour. The ratio of the time taken by the passenger train to completely cross the freight train when they are moving in the same direction and the second case in the opposite direction is. Options are given 3 by 2, 25 by 11, 11 by 5, 5 by 2. It's a question from J 2019 mains. It's a question related to uh, you know the concept of relative velocity. See, assume that we have two trains. The first one is a passenger train and the length is given and the second one is a goods train, freight train. Okay, something like this. Okay. Now, the lengths are given or you know let us that be you know lengthwise the freight train is more. We can say that this is 120 meter. L2 is equal to 120 meter. Okay. And L1, the first train is having length of 60 meter, right? You know, length L1 is equal to 60 meter. And the passenger uh, train is moving at a speed of 80 kilometer per hour given in the problem. Okay. 80 kilometer per hour. And the goods train is moving at a speed of 30 kilometer per hour. See if that the case, if assume that both are moving in the opposite direction, first I will take opposite direction, then I will take same direction. Okay. See if opposite direction we are moving, you know relative velocity how to find out. Relative velocity is you know the definition of relative velocity. What is relative velocity? We you know assume that this is our uh, goods train and uh, this is the passenger train. Okay. So relative velocity if you want to find out you know, V goods minus V passenger we can take. Okay. If that is the case, how much is that? You know, here V goods is in the positive x direction. Okay. Minus of, minus of V passenger we have to take because you know the passenger train is in the negative x direction. So, we can take this is going to be equal to V goods plus V passenger is the relative velocity when the trains are moving in the opposite direction. Okay. So, if that is the case, you know the length you know if you want to cross you know how much is the total length of the train total length of the train is 120 plus 60 meter you have to consider when completely crossing means you know this train should cross this and you know the tail of the first train should match with or you know, just passes the tail of the uh, second train then only we can say complete crossing happen that complete crossing means you know we can say l1 plus l2 see this is l2 this is l1 so complete crossing, you know, this is just before starting the crossing and when complete crossing happens, then again we can say total length is going to be equal to L1 plus L2. So we can apply this concept. So total length is equal to the length effective, we can say that is going to be equal to L1 plus L2. Okay. Similarly, if the trains are moving in the same direction, assume that this passenger is also going the same direction, the second case. Okay. Remember, in the second case, this is moving in this direction. Assume that. Okay. If that is the case, again, relative velocity, we can find out. Relative velocity is again V goods minus V passenger. So, passenger this time is in the same direction. So, we can say that which is equal to V goods minus V passenger itself. Remember that. In this case, we can take a modulus for you no know, calculation. It is very uh, always is better to take a modulus because you know you can take the absolute values. This modulus as well as this modulus as well as this modulus if you are taking, you know, you will get the net. You no need to worry about directions in that case, you know, positive x or negative x, you don't have to consider, only you have to consider is whether it is in opposite direction or same direction. So, if it is in same direction, here, you know, I took like this because V goods is very slow speed, V g is, so you no need to put that negative, it does not make any sense here while calculating the crossing, uh, these type of problems, okay. This is the uh, relative velocity when the body, when the trains are moving in the same direction, and this is the relative velocity when the trains are moving in the opposite direction. So, if that is the case, you know, we have to find out the ratio, the ratio of there, you know, how much is the, the ratio of the time we have to find out first, which first is actually in the same direction to the opposite direction. Let us see that. So, same direction, you know that velocity is equal to, velocity is equal to displacement by time. We have to find out time. So, time is equal to displacement by velocity. So, in our case, so when they are in the same direction, right? Previous case, you know, let us see. See, first one is uh, taken away when they are moving the same direction. Same direction, let us calculate first, okay? 
So same direction, the time taken, time in the first case is going to be equal to distance is L1 plus L2 anyway, L1 plus L2 modulus divided by, when they are in same direction we can say V goods minus V passenger mod, okay. Fine. Similarly, if you are calculating for opposite direction case, let us call it as T2. Okay. T2 is going to be equal to again L1 plus L2 divided by, you know that V goods plus V passenger will be there. Okay. So, again modulus we can take. Modulus. Okay. Here also modulus we can take. Now, we need the ratio. We need the ratio T1 by T2. Okay. T1 by T2 which is equal to. See, we can say T1 is L1 plus L2 mod divided by Vg minus V passenger mod divided by this quantity will come. That means here L1 plus L2 divided by Vg, this will come to the numerator. So, Vg plus Vp, okay. So, we can see that directly these two quantities will get cancelled out, doesn't have any role, okay, which is equal to V goods plus V passenger divided by V goods minus V passenger modulus you have to take, which is equal to how much, which are the values? V goods is 30, right? 30 plus how much is passenger? How much is the speed given that 60, I think, right? How much is the speed? No, 80. 80 is the speed. Yes. Okay. 30 plus 80 divided by, we can say 30 minus 80 modulus you have, you have to give. So, how much is the answer? This is going to be equal to 30 plus 80 means how much will come? 1, 110 will come, right? 110. 110 divided by, okay, how much is this? Minus 50 or 50 will come. Modulus when you are taking, 50 will come, okay? Which is equal to, when 0 can be cancelled out, 11 by 5 is the correct answer. You can see that the right option in this question is 11 by 5. I hope all of you understood.